Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing our neighbor, Jupiter. And to be more specific, some of the new discoveries coming from the atmosphere of Jupiter, potentially resolving some of the older mysteries here, and also discovering something we've never seen before, an actual heat wave propagating through the atmosphere of Jupiter, increasing the overall temperature by hundreds of degrees Celsius. Something that's incomparable to anything we have here on planet Earth. But more importantly, there's now a relatively clear understanding of how these heat waves form, how they affect the temperature of the atmosphere on Jupiter, and to some extent, the scientists behind the recent study also reveal the mechanism that produces all of this, something that was basically a mystery for over two decades. And this was a pretty big mystery because it essentially showed us that we don't entirely understand the main forces governing the atmosphere of various gas giants, because all of the previous theoretical models predicted the temperature here to be approximately minus 70 degrees Celsius on average. But in reality it was hundreds of degrees more. Some of the cloud tops would reach approximately 400 degrees Celsius. And because of the distances from the Sun, and here Jupiter of course receives less than 4% as much sunlight as the planet Earth, none of this at first made sense. I mean if it was like 1 or 2 degrees, that's maybe something the scientists can work with. But we're talking about hundreds of degrees. 400 degrees Celsius instead of minus 70 degrees Celsius. And that's of course on top of the other mysteries coming from the atmosphere, such as unusual X-ray emissions, various types of air glow, and a lot of other high temperature anomalies, with temperatures sometimes reaching nearly 1000 degrees. With some of the explanations suggesting that maybe all of this is due to some of the unusual absorption of X-rays and the UV light coming from the Sun, maybe some of this was created by some unusual charged particles coming from the magnetosphere of Jupiter, or maybe some of this was due to some unusual gravitational effects, such as various gravity waves, creating a very unusual pressure gradient, which would then raise the temperature in certain locations. In other words, this was a mystery that nobody had the answer to. But there were clear hints coming from various studies, and especially coming from various infrared observations of the planet itself. You might actually even see some of these hints in this recent image from the James Webb Telescope. If you look at the picture, you can kind of see that certain regions seem to be different temperature from other regions. Some of them seem to be hotter. In this case, the poles. And obviously we know something about the poles of Jupiter. They do have a permanent feature on those poles that is responsible for these observations. Both of the poles contain permanent aurora. Something that's kind of similar to what we have on Earth, but in reality is extremely different because first of all these are permanent, they never disappear. And second of all, they're obviously way, way more powerful and have a lot of other effects on the planet as well. And so it's actually these aurora that seem to be the solution to the mystery now known as the energy crisis of Jupiter. Something that was officially confirmed sometime last year in 2021 and has now been confirmed once again. And so it's really the aurora that seem to be responsible for heating up most of the atmosphere that we cannot explain otherwise. And in this case, the heat maps produced by various scientists definitively show us that there is a huge emanation of heat coming from the north and the south that spreads across the planet, making only the equator a little bit cooler compared to everything else. Or in other words, confirming that the aurora in this case seem to be responsible for the unusual heating of the entire planet, at least in the upper atmosphere. And although on Earth this is produced from the interaction with the sun and usually results in the extremely beautiful light show that you see right here, very often visible around certain latitudes in the north and in the south. On Jupiter, none of this depends on the sun. It's more or less the interaction between the magnetosphere and the emissions from the volcanic moon known as Io, and specifically the emissions of what's known as H3 ions, or hydrogen-3 ions that are produced through the interaction of the magnetosphere with the particles from Io. And so these recently created temperature maps finally reveal the interaction that can then be visualized this way, with the winds then carrying all of this heat down to lower latitudes and spreading the heat across the atmosphere, but more or less disappearing somewhere near the equator. But extremely recently, the scientists using the same technique were able to discover that extremely powerful heat wave that was actually produced in a slightly different way. In this case, it didn't just involve the magnetosphere of Jupiter, but it did involve the solar pressure as well. And this time it seems to have been correlated with one of the more powerful emissions coming from the Sun. And so when looking more carefully at the data, the scientists discovered an unusually strong heat wave that was initiated very close to the northern aurora. 
and in this case also traveling southwards at like thousands kilometers per hour. But in this case it's assumed to have been triggered by the interaction of the magnetosphere with the emissions from the sun. And specifically, it's through the solar pressure applied to the magnetosphere where it essentially becomes concentrated and then lead to the compression of the magnetic field creating an enhanced aurora, which would then naturally result in the much heater conditions around the aurora and thus produce the heat wave observed. In this case, the heat wave reached temperatures of about 700 degrees Celsius or at least a few hundred degrees Celsius hotter than usual and was also extremely large in size. Here this is about 130,000 kilometers or approximately 10 times as big as planet Earth. Although naturally because this is a very recent discovery, there's still a chance that maybe something else is going to be discovered about this and especially in regards to the mechanism responsible for creating this unusual phenomenon. But I guess more importantly, it really shows us how little we understand about gas giants, how little we understand about the way that the temperature is generated here, and more importantly, how little we understand about the aurora as well. We still know very little about how exactly these are generated, and we still don't really understand what effects these have on the planet itself. And more importantly, because so many other similar planets have been discovered outside of the solar system, it would be obviously interesting to find out if these particular effects also exist outside of the solar system. Can various gas giants that, for example, are supposed to be really cold actually be extremely warm because of very similar effects from very similar phenomena on those objects as well? And so at the moment, this is a pretty interesting discovery. But until we learn more, unfortunately that's really all we know. Once the scientists discover something else, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, check out all the relevant links in the description below, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye. And this, by the way, is the first ever 3D render of what the unusual clouds on Jupiter look like for the currently orbiting Juno mission. So this is also pretty incredible.